This project, which combines music with ecological data, has been a dream child of mine for over a decade. But it wasn't until I encountered the musical genius that is Ewan Campbell and the Wilderness Festival Orchestra that this actually became possible. The, the Hebrides Overture, 1829, Mendelssohn, Felix Mendelssohn, takes a trip to Fingal's Cave on holiday in Scotland. And on his journey, he would likely have seen a whale. Probably a lot of whales, possibly a lot of whales. Humpbacks, blue whales, maybe North Atlantic right whales. Uh, since that time, uh, there has been a precipitous decline in, in the whale population. So what we want to do is show that through music. Redaction is a term normally associated with censorship and, and silencing history. And so I find it a really, a, a really apt term for this piece, whereby we're showing how human interaction with nature has silenced nature, has removed it, deleted it. We have seen over the past century nearly a million species pushed to the brink of extinction. We have seen a collapse in the populations of vertebrate, invertebrate, bird and fish species all around the world. Yeah. I've wanted to do this for 10 or 12 years um, to convey the scientific information in a way that people care about because for a decade I've been standing up in front of audiences with PowerPoint slides and nobody cares. Um, but music is visceral and it's emotional and it will land in a way that none of my talks do. So I hope you can make this work. <laughs> The Hebrides Overture was written by Mendelssohn, inspired by the beauty and vitality and action of the sea. It's entirely conceivable that part of this score will have been written by the light of a whale oil lamp. There are many pressures on all whale and cetacean populations today. These include our overfishing of critical species. It affects what's available and left for the whales themselves. And the long hangover from extensive commercial whaling. To show that in the music, I've allocated a number of bars to every decade and then removed the notes as the whales would, would be removed. The ex musical expression is truncated, is uh, curtailed. It becomes very hard to play. Brilliant. It's better than I thought it could be. I can't decide whether I'm supposed to be listening to what's there or listening to what's not there. Uh, and I think that's sort of the beauty of the idea that we're trying to convey. There's a lot that's not there, but what's left is still interesting. I think I went with the logic that nature is beautiful no matter what state it's in. And therefore, rather than make the music sound intentionally ugly, I tried to make the music make as much sense as it possibly could, given the status of the number of notes that were there. If you redact a score proportionally to an extinct population, you end up with nothing, just pure silence. And while that could be quite powerful, we want a piece of music. So we searched through the different whale populations and we found the North Atlantic humpback whale. It made sense geographically, it made sense chronologically. <laughs> Humpback whales are majestic creatures. They migrate further than any other mammal on the planet. 
the males in particular use their siren song. This is how they attract the mates. These songs are hauntingly beautiful, truly natural and unique. And they're getting quieter, fewer and farther between as populations collapse and disappear. When Mendelssohn wrote the Hebrides Overture, there's about 30,000 whales in the sea, and the score has about 30,000 notes in it. And that means that there's one note in that piece for every whale, every humpback whale. And so every time I delete a note, I'm showing how we've deleted another humpback whale. That particular population has seen a precipitous decline but we can also see that when the seas are better managed, populations can start to rebound. We want to draw attention to the policies that would be needed in order to achieve this whale recovery. And so the last part of the piece actually looks into the future, allowing an 8% rise in population of the whales every decade. Ladies and gentlemen, composed by Felix Mendelssohn in 1829, decomposed by Ewan Campbell in 2022, the Wilderness Festival Orchestra presents the world premiere, The Hebrides Redacted. The redaction begins, 95%. The precipitous decline begins. 73% of notes and whales remain.
1900, 50% of notes in Wales are gone. This is the low point, just 33% remain. In 22 nations signed the world's first whaling convention, and whales begin their slow recovery. into effect. 45% Here we are today with 54% of the original notes and whales on our score. But now we're going to fast forward through time to show you what could be if we protect the food chain through enforced marine protected areas, if we reroute maritime freight to reduce ship strike, and if we minimize ocean pollution, especially discarded fishing gear, these whales and our score could return to their full glory by the year 2100.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much to these brilliant musicians in the Wilderness Festival Orchestra, and thank you to the musical genius that is Ewan Campbell. Thank mm -hmm. you.